Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. In this video, I dub it the nail, the final nail in the coffin. <laughs> Why am I saying that? Well, first, before I get into the video, I want to give a couple shout outs to my, some of my subscribers. This one came from Tony Grant, 3062. He just actually put this comment today on my last video. He said, all the trolls from USA bashing Neo top quality compared to Tesla rubbish, and they do it on their iPhone, Android phone, laptop, pad, etc. Made where? They love paying top money for latest iPhone, etc. And where is it made? And I don't care what it is or model, it was made in China. And the price bumped up hugely by the USA companies. Remember I was talking about that guys? And they buy it and then use it to trash talk quality Chinese companies like Neo. <laughs> That's the sad reality, my friend. Also, from JV156, he said, eventually people will realize that Neo will be the real solution. They already realized that, my brother, because that is why we have the lion's share of the premium market in China. This is what I replied to him. The lion's share of the premium market. Now we will have the lion's share of the mass market. Excuse me, guys. Also, Ohio politician proposes to ban Chinese EV cars sold in US. Isolation will ruin your own market, he said. Yes, it will. Same as when they were banning Toyota from coming here and they were driving junk and then Toyota came, it caused innovation again. Also, I said to him, and Elon Musk said, Chinese car companies are the most competitive companies in the world. They will have significant success outside of China, outside of China, depending on what kind of tariffs or trade barriers I establish. And you see, people keep talking about Oh, well, the delivery numbers, the delivery numbers, but you're blocking them from coming, huh, buddy? <laughs> if there were no trade barriers established, according to their guard, Elon, they will pretty much demolish most other car companies in the world. They are not good. They are extremely good. See, this is why I said it in the last video. Elon knows what's coming. He even admitted that the Cybertruck AKA the stainless steel homeless encampment dug his grave. But the shareholders are holding on with hope, lying to themselves because Jim Cramer came out recently and said, you shouldn't buy Neo. He said that when Tesla was $15 a share and then came back and said, you should buy it at $300 a share and they bought. Now it's tanking and will continue to tank and go bankrupt because they are going to be decimated in China. Elon tried to run to India and I showed what's going to happen in India. You see, only a fool does the same thing over and over, hoping for different results. It doesn't matter where you go as long as people have a choice of dog poop or premium. Dog poop or premium, they're going to take premium. So, of course, they outsold Neo in China until last week, two weeks ago, sorry. <laughs> and they were doing that because they are low-end, cheap dog poop <clears throat> and way high-end premium. But I showed how Xiaomi is now taking away large market share. Morgan Stanley just came out with a report and basically is saying that, that uh, Xiaomi and SAIC and stuff is taking huge market share in that segment. And Elon knows that. So the Model Y, the same thing, our Envo, and you guys saw pictures, it's beautiful. More technologically advanced with battery swapping is gonna kill the Model Y, and people are gonna say, well, money making Mitch, how did you know that? You see, history is your best teacher. And when they go to India, and the Chinese companies follow, as I showed, they're part of BRICS nations, the same thing's gonna happen. The only way for Tesla to start uh, to survive will be to adopt battery as a service and to continue to innovate again. Now, Ciaran Canning, my Irish warrior friend said, the other brands have built the house but forgot the foundations. 
underneath. They forgot the foundations. It's only time before they sink into the mud. <laughs> well said, Sierra Canning. Now, I will put a picture in the thumbnail of the M MPV model, multi-purpose vehicle model that we're going to be coming out with as well. And it is absolutely outstanding. But before I continue with this video, remember I told you guys that Elon, one of the biggest reasons that Tesla is falling and going to continue to fall hard and go bankrupt is because he's focusing on the other planets. The man has completely lost his mind. Now he's talking about living on Mars. Take a look at this clip and we shall continue. I think we may find that there are many long dead one planet civilizations. Um, we, and as you've heard me say before, we don't want to be one of those lame one planet civilizations. I mean, we want to be a multi planet civilization, ultimately be a multi stellar civilization, be out there among the stars. Like, you know, make science fiction not fiction forever. Um, kind of make Star, Star Trek real systems. But if we can at least get to Mars, then other star systems are hopeless. I mean, it's a fixer upper of a planet. Okay. Need some. Hi guys, welcome back. Now you see, it is sad because a lot of people invest based on patriotism and what their government tell them. I call them the sheep. Bah, bah. And only 1% of the population in the world are shepherds. Those are the people who become wealthy. And as the sheep hold on to this madman who wants to build living spaces on Mars <laughs> and continue to destroy his company here, Tesla, and shareholders money, listen to the opposite side of the spectrum. And when you hear yet again what I have to say, you will understand why Neo will dominate the landscape. You see, I've said it and I'll say it again. In every country in the world that you go, you will no longer see just the symbol Shell on the gas station. You will see Shell Neo. <laughs> you will see BP Neo. We will be owning, they will buy the franchise from us. Do you understand guys what's happening? But to make, put things into more perspective, before I get into this, let me say this. This is a Saturday, guys. Sorry, this video is going to be a little long. They laughed when we did battery swapping. Now you notice in the comments, they don't mention that at all. The same trolls that keep coming, <laughs> they do not mention that because 41 million plus swaps and it is now recognized by even the West as the only way to solve range anxiety. So they try to come up with a company called Ample and no one wants them. No one, it's dog poop. Then they laughed about the phone and we are selling phone in record numbers. We're gonna to continue to do so. And now other EV companies are saying that they will also be work, they, they're working on phones. Then they laughed at our in-house chip. They laughed at Nomi. <laughs> now Baidu and other companies are also working on artificial intelligence. And we also just had a huge upgrade with Nomi getting ready for our driverless technology, the God chip. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Porsche, they laughed at us with the suspension system and Porsche now is on board. You see, we are the trendsetter. We are the denominator. We are numero uno and all else have to follow. So as they talk about, well, we're not putting out a lot of deliveries. Our delivery numbers keep going up year over year. Whereas you'll see Tesla, continue to tank year over year. Because when we, we, out, we outsold Mercedes and Audi and stuff like that in China, the most competitive market in the world, what do you think will happen with our premium brands when we go elsewhere? And people start finding out more and more about us. Also, what do you think will happen when we, re we release Ladao to completely destroy the Model Y? What kind of figures you think we will be releasing? Also, Elon, like I said, thought he would go to India and India shall surely save him. And I debunked that. 
I showed how much trade India and China does. And no matter where you go with dog poop, as long as people have a choice, this is the key that I'm trying to wake up Tesla shareholders. As long as people have a choice, they will not choose rat poop, dog poop, cat poop, and bat poop, guanu, bat poop. They will not choose it. It's basic common sense. Think about it. If I offer you an Envo, a Ladao, with battery swapping capability so you don't have to wait 20 minutes and degradate your battery with superior technology, what will you choose? Americans don't want to wait five minutes for a burger. You think they'll wait 15 minutes to charge? No, sir. No, sir. You see, I met a young African-American brother one morning. He was charging his car and for fun, I asked him, I said, young man, how long does it take to charge? He said, like 15, 20 minutes. And he was, you can see the look on his face. He will never buy rat poop again. He was duped into it, that young African-American brother of mine. He was duped. You can tell he will never buy it again. And this is what's happening in China as well. That's why you see their, their deliveries tanking year over year. And now with Xiaomi, with IM Motors, killing the Model 3 and BYD Model Seal, killing the Model 3 completely this year. And with us gonna kill the Model Y completely by the end of this year when we start mass marketing it. Their Tesla share price is gonna fall to about eh, $25 because that's their largest market. They're not being sold in America. And then, only then, hopefully some shareholders will realize what's happening because their driverless technology is five, six, eight years away. Ours is only maybe one, two years away. If that, Tesla is going to go bankrupt. Also, remember, he's not going into the Middle East. He's not going <laughs> because he knows the Middle East wouldn't take it. They don't want junk. They don't want trash. They are used to European exquisite brands like Mercedes, Audi, Rolls Royce, they want the best and we are gonna give them the best. Also, Neo signed a partnership, remember this guys, and I talked about with the home appliance, my dear, and some of them laughed again. <laughs> $47 billion market cap, this company is the largest appliance company in China. And when Emperor Lee did it, again, they laughed. And I said, everything will should be Neo compatible. And the fools without vision will stay poor and die poor. Now, when I get into this article, you will see why you should have confidence in holding and keep buying the dip like most of my subscribers are doing. When I give you guys this article, woohoo, it's going to be dynamite. This video belongs on a Monday morning, but I wanted to do it so I have the time on a Saturday. You see, what Emperor Lee did and is doing is true vision. He's like an oracle, an oracle. Listen to this. China releases action plan to encourage trading of consumer goods, including cars. <laughs> Let me say that again, guys. China releases action plan to encourage trading of consumer goods, including cars. Why did we partner with them? Ooh, it's coming to the light now, isn't it? We, that's why I said by the end of this year, I think we'll become profitable. If not break even, profitable. China aims to double the amount of scrap cars recycled by 2027 compared to 2023. China has released details of its policy on the trade-in of old cars as parts of efforts to boost consumption. Trade-ins. Where are they going to go? Ocean. That's where UXI and Ocean comes in. That's why I keep holding my shares. I haven't been averaging down lately on Ocean only because I'm buying 100 shares every week of NEO for my son. I'm gonna keep doing it until Envoy is mass marketed and we kill the Tesla completely and our share price guy rocket to the moon. Then I'll go back to Ocean. 14 government departments, 14 government departments, including China's Ministry of Commerce, jointly released the action plan to promote consumer goods replacement. <laughs> refrigerators, air conditioners. Why did Emperor Lee sign a deal with them? Who is laughing now, you fool? <laughs> to accelerate the nation's trading of cars and home appliances. 
By 2025, passenger cars with emission standards of China's three and below will be phased out at an accelerated pace and the market share of energy efficient home appliances will be further increased. Now, whilst this, all this is happening, Elon wants to go build living space on Mars. By 2025, passenger cars with emission standards of China 3 and below will be phased out at an accelerated pace, accelerated pace. And the market share of the energy efficient home appliances will be further increased. <laughs> we are in that field getting that paper now, guys. By 2025, recycling of scrap automobiles will increase by 50% from 2023 and recycling of used appliances will increase by 15% from 2023. By 2027, the recycling volume of scrap automobiles will double from 2023. The volume of used car transactions, the, listen to this part, the volume of used car transactions will increase by 45% from 2023. Used car, Yushin. UXIN or Ocean, however you want to pronounce it. This is why I hold my shares. People look for instant gratification. Well, the share price is not reflecting on the share. Ah, you want money right away, don't you, boy? Mm. The recycling of volume of used home appliances will increase by 30% from 2023. In vehicle replacement, China will increase policy support, including Encouraging financial institutions to lower down payment ratios for loans. Encouraging insurance organizations to offer a wide range of products and setting reasonable insurance rates for new energy vehicles. So you see, remember when Elon cut the price to almost where they were breaking even to try to destroy the competition and that did not work. And then he said, zero interest financing, you surely shouldn't want it now. And they said, nah, nah. So <laughs> with the lower interest rates, what do you think is gonna happen for us as well? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you see? So the dog poop is done. It's done, it's done. Companies are encouraged to upgrade used car recycling services to facilitate used car delivery. Who has the most automated recycling facilities in China? Who? Ah yes, Ocean, you got that right guys. Automobile manufacturers are encouraged to carry out used vehicle trade in businesses. Used vehicle trade in businesses, Ocean. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And used car dealers are encouraged to provide warranty services. Mm -hmm. We also provide that, Ocean. China will also improve the quality of used car exports and support used car exporters in expanding overseas markets according to the documents. Brick nations, I talked about it. Russia's economy is booming. Local governments are encouraged to improve infrastructure including charging. Listen to this. This is the killer, the dominator. Local governments are encouraged to improve infrastructure. Who has the most charging stations in terms of EV companies in China, guys? Who? Uh-huh, Neo. But listen to it, it gets better. Including charging, battery swapping, <laughs> parking, and intelligent transportation. Who has the most intelligent transportations? Neo, that's who. And the guard chip is coming. Battery swapping. Why is the government so adamant about battery swapping? Because like I said, in America, people aren't buying the dog poop because they, it's not battery swappable, it's inferior, range anxiety, they don't wanna wait 15 minutes, they don't even wanna wait five minutes. We are saying to you, here we have it for you, son, but genocidal Joe don't want you to have it, but you can swap in three and a half minutes. Notably, and intelligent transportation. Notably, a new policy released on April 3 relaxes policies on personal use auto loans as part of efforts to stimulate consumption. <clears throat> so you see, the Chinese government is, they know that infrastructure is everything and our infrastructure is worth more than all of the EV companies combined. <laughs> yes, it is. Notably, a new policy released on April to relax its policies of personal use auto loans as part of efforts to stimulate consumptions. 
Financial institutions can independently determine the maximum ratios of loans for traditional power and NEVs for personal use. According to an announcement jointly issued on April 3rd by the People's Bank of China and the National Financial Regulatory Administration. Now, I, now also, let me say this. Nomi has been upgraded. Nomi has been upgraded. Remember when they also laughed at Nomi? Oh, they have a little talking robot, but they're still not selling EVs. <laughs> but we outsold Mercedes and Audi. And now Nomi has been upgraded to get ready for the guardship and it, she will be continuously upgraded for the guardship for next year for the Abu Dhabi boys. Yes, robot taxis are coming to them and they want to ride in comfort like they do with their Rolls Royce. ET9 is coming for them. Previously, consumers were required to make a down payment of at least 20% for conventionally powered vehicles and at least 15% for new NEVs. So the down payment now might be only 5%. And it might be even better for battery swapping, as you see the government understands and is behind us fully. In January, China's Ministry of Commerce said in a briefing that the country would promote the trade-ins of automobiles and home appliances this year, which is a key focus for boosting consumptions. Let me say that again. In January, China's Ministry of Commerce said in a briefing that the country would promote the trade-in of automobiles and home appliances this year. So they told you it was coming which is a key focus for boosting consumption. But Elon concentrating on Mars did not pay attention. And William Lee said, oh yeah, is that what you're gonna do? I'm gonna team up and partner with this company here. I'm gonna make that bread for my shareholders. And Elon said, I will build a living space in Mars. I don't know what else to do. After that, car companies, including Geely, Boya, Neo, announced trade-in subsidies they were offering on April 1st. NIO announced subsidies of up to 140 million for gasoline cars trade-ins, saying the, more, the move was in response to China's consumer goods trade-in initiative. Starting April 1st, gasoline car owners who purchase a new NIO vehicle through a trade-in will receive an additional 10,000 in option fund subsidies. The maker said, option fund subsidies. So guys, when we, by the time we release Envo, that superior thing that's gonna kill the Model Y, what do you guys think will happen with all the other incentives? How cheap will it be? And what do you think will happen to the Model Y? I said that the Model 3 was gonna be demolished, destroyed, devastated, rightfully so by Xiaomi, by IM Motors with the Crab Walk car that you saw, with BYD Seal. And now we're gonna put to rest the Model Y. We're going to sink it to the bottom of the ocean because the scrapyards wouldn't want it. You see, guys, that Ohio um, minister or whatever he is, that governor that just begged genocidal Joe, please don't allow them to bring their EVs. <laughs> Shh, crapping in their pants. They know what's coming because of what Elon Musk said. They realize it. As long as the American people have an option. You see, people say don't talk politics, but you must look at what politicians are doing to understand how to invest. Genocidal Joe has sent billions to kill women and children. Further increasing our taxes here, property tax, food tax, everything. Where we cannot afford an expensive car. But yet they are telling you, you cannot get a superior technologically advanced EV from China for 18,000, 16,000. No, 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 no. Go and buy this dog poop that will be worth boiling zero in eight years. It is very sad. But the silver lining is this. We are entering other markets this year and BRICS friendly nations. We will also probably be in Ireland, Australia, the Australian Prime Minister has very close ties with the Chinese government and is boosting trade. I showed that in one of my last videos. As usual, guys, <clears throat> these videos take a lot of time. So don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you exit. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset where, oh, and let me say this. Let me say this before we go. Jim Cramer came out and said, you should not buy Neo, you should sell, right? This is what he did when Tesla was $15, knowing fully well they were gonna steal market share at that time. While his buddies were buying, he was telling people don't buy. 
Do you guys remember that? Then when it hit 300, he said, it's a buy, I was wrong. This is what they do. This is the game they continuously play. Now knowing fully well that Tesla is gonna go bankrupt to zero because they did not innovate, because they did not keep up. Knowing fully well that only a fool would do the same thing over and over expecting different results, like Elon. Knowing fully well that Neo is getting ready to release Envo, Firefly and all the sub brands that's gonna steal market share. He's telling you now, you should sell. And then when Envo floods the market, Firefly and all of our sub brands, all of our battery swapping stations, as we continue to roll out perhaps 2000 this year with the partnerships, not one, and the money we'll be making, they know that, they see it, but they're telling you to sell now. And when this thing skyrockets to the moon by the end of this year, he's gonna say, oh, I think I made a mistake again. Yes, not you did not think that was your mistake, boy. You did not think you thought. So guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you might wanna think about doing so because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset like 50 said, we get rich or we die trying, guys.